Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. If this is your first time checking out my channel, my name is Tanil. Welcome. If you are not new, thank you so much for tuning in once again. And hello to my newest subscribers out there. So thankful for you all. Please be sure if you are new to like this video, uh, subscribe, all that great stuff. And um, let's get started, I guess. So today's video is going to be a quick get ready with me, but I want to try out the new Revlon makeup items I received from CrowdTap. So if you didn't see my latest um, Mel Hall featuring those, I will leave cards up above. So take a look and click on those and you can see what I got for free to review. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to do a get ready with me, some first impressions, a little review and see what we think of some of these products. So I'm going to go over what I received. Sorry if you can hear my doggy in the background. All right, so I received the Revlon Color Stay. This is a full cover foundation, and I got the color 220. It is a matte, a natural beige, and a 24-hour wear, it says. So this is the little bottle here. And they sent me, it looks like one fluid ounce. I'm not sure if that would be considered a full-size product or not. Um, I didn't actually look that up to see. So they also sent me the Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect Primer Base, and this is a broad spectrum of 34 sunscreen, so that is awesome. This is a quite good size container here at 0.9 fluid ounces. They also sent me the Blackest Black Revlon Volumizing Mascara, so we'll be testing that out today. It's got this cute little wand here. And to go along with that, they sent me this Revlon um, Salon Professional Pro Lash Curler to try out. So we are gonna be trying those out. Uh, and then as well as I'll be using um, some of my own makeup products from my collection to finish out the look for today. I'm sorry that I've bumped the table a few times and it makes the camera wiggle. I am trying to use a different space that has maybe a little better lighting and um, it's all connected. So I apologize for bumping the table when I do. So um, I am for my eyes gonna use Revlon also. I have this Revlon palette from a while back. It's the color stays, not just nudes. So we're gonna go ahead and play with that so we can kind of keep on with some of the Revlon. And then for some of my other makeup products, we're gonna be using some like Physicians Formula stuff that I have and um, nothing too amazing or great. We're really gonna focus on the Revlon products today. All right, so I think we should go ahead and start off with our primer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my face first. I wouldn't typically do my face first. I would normally go in with my eyes first, but I think under the circumstances that it's gonna make more sense to just do the face first because it's really my focus and I'm gonna do a simple, simple eye look. So we are gonna keep it pretty basic today. I've got some errands to run. Again, it's my husband's birthday, but he's got a crazy work day. I'm gonna run to Target pretty soon. So this is a good day though to see how it wears up. Also, it's really hot here today where I'm at considering we are in late September. Um, it is not fall weather at all. It is still quite summery today. So I think this is a good way to see also if it holds up in um, the heat. So let's see how we go. All right, I'm gonna give this primer a shake because it did travel and it might've settled. And it looks like it comes like this and it has a little bit of a tint. And if I'm looking down, it's because I have a mirror down here to uh, use, so sorry about that. But I don't wanna blind anybody. All right, so let's go ahead and I wanna really spread that out since it has an SPF, so that way I really make sure that I get that SPF coverage all, all over. All right, so that's not bad. It has a little bit of a scent, but nothing too off-putting or chemical or anything like that. So I'm gonna go in actually with this lash curler because my lashes are bugging me currently. So let's take this out and it looks like that. All right, and yeah, this eyelash is, ooh. Now it doesn't open very far, man. I feel like I can't even, ugh. All right, well right off the bat, I don't love it. It's really hard to open and feel like I can get over my lash. And then it didn't do anything. I don't feel like that did anything at all. Let's go ahead and do the other side, I guess. 
so they can be kind of equal, right? Maybe kind of. All right, well, my first impression of that eyelash curler is garbage. All right, so we're gonna move on to the foundation because that was really sad already. Um, I am going to be using a pure paddle brush for this today. And I did already take off the safety seal when we opened it initially to check the color. I'm gonna go with just a little bit at a time because I don't know how, how it's gonna spread. It is quite thick. Um, So, so far I'm just doing the one side so we can kind of see if we can even see anything. So far, I don't see anything. I'm like, what is that? I go here. Wonder if my my uh, paddle is absorbing. I don't know. It's definitely not heavy on the skin so far. Like I don't feel like I have all this gunky foundation on at all, but I almost don't feel like I'm even seeing anything though. I'm sorry if I was blinding you with my mirror, I apologize. <laughs> and now they're outside barking at everybody. All right, well, It definitely covered because this was darker, my little pimple thing here. It had like a dark uh, freckle that was kind of in the same area. And that darkness is definitely, definitely lighter. So, I mean, there is definitely some coverage there. I don't know if I would call that a full cover foundation though. It does say that it's considered non-cakey and lightweight and blends seamlessly. So, I mean... I don't know, what do you think? So far, I, I don't think it looks too awful. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and assume that that's that for that part, I guess. For my um, concealer, I'm gonna take just a teeniest bit of some um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is not a drugstore. I was gonna try to stick with all drugstore stuff today for the most part, but um, I couldn't find my Maybelline one that I normally use so much, so. I just grabbed what was easy to grab and I do like this one. And I go very, very light handed though because it is so thick. And I just, that is so dry. Maybe that was part of my problem, huh? I didn't wet that before. Hmm, now let me. <laughs> All right, so that's not bad. Oop, go back over here. I am all over the place. Every time I get ready on camera and I'm not in my typical, you know, bedroom makeup area, I feel like I just struggle. Does anybody else have that problem? So I think I'm blended out. You know, you can't get rid of those bags when it comes to my face. I mean, I have such bags and dark circles under my eyes. I have for a long time. I don't even know what to say about it. It is what it is, right? All right, let's go ahead and set those so that way we can try to save what's happening here. Try. Sorry for my messy hair today. Like I said, it is just a lazy day and I'm gonna run a few errands. Nothing too serious. So I'm using my Physician's Formula. This is the Youthful Wear Youth Boosting Powder in Translucent Matte Finish. And you can see I've hit pan and broken off my thing. <laughs> 
And I used the um, crown brush for that. And then I'm going to go in with this then. Why can't I say it all of a sudden? Aesthetica P12 brush. And using the same thing, I'm going to just lightly dust. All right. That is set. Now I have hair in my mouth. All right, I'm gonna go in with this Physician's Formula Bronzer. Um, this is the light skin color in the Natural Origin Bronzer. I have not used this very much. I feel like it's really, really pressed. The packaging is so cute. I really love the really natural, <laughs> the really natural bamboo um, finish of the box. I think it's really cute and it's, you know, breaks a lot less than all the plastic stuff I have, but um, I feel like it's pressed so hard into this pan that it is really difficult to use. So we are gonna see if we can get some of this to work today for us. I have some different brushes than when I first gotten this product. So I'm hoping that maybe we can get a little better success. Okay. Don't like that. Um, how about, hmm. This, I wonder if it's, why am I using that for a mirror? Wow. Snail having issues today, aren't ya? All right. We just need a little warmth to this face. I don't think we need to go too insane. What is the weather like where you guys are? Is it fall yet? I know that there's hurricanes going on and it is just devastating for those people that are suffering from that. I just can't even understand how weather can be so destructive and devastating. I mean, it's so important, but yet scary you know it's just kind of crazy but it is hot here in California where I live kind of in the middle of everything I'm pretty much two hours from mountains two hours from ocean two hours from desert well maybe not desert but we're really lucky here where we're at all right so now I'm going to go in with just a light blush and yes I am kind of getting the face out of the way because the eyes are going to be simple for this I'm using the Steve Laurent Man, I am butterfingers and ruining my makeup. Um, this is a really pretty rosé all day um, that I received um, a couple months ago in my Ipsy. I apologize for my... Oh, oh, look at me. Back up to now. I am a mess. I am a mess. It has been a long, crazy month and it didn't bring a highlighter. That's all right, we don't need it. All right, so I'm gonna go into the eyes. Um, so let's go ahead and set really quick. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay. This is the um, Primer Potion and Anti-Aging. It's my favorite. It is a very light um, eyeshadow base, unlike um, some of them that can be really thick and tacky and sticky, which are great if you're trying to do you know, cut creases and things like that. I find for myself that it's just more than I need for an everyday. So for my everyday primer, I like this one. Um, but I do find that even for a simple everyday look, I really like to have um, a primer down on my eyes. I just feel like my eyeshadow stays so much longer throughout the day, no matter what I use. Okay, so I don't think any of these have shade name. So I am going to just go in and prime with this little light pink here so we can set that primer and get a nice look, huh? I don't know the name of this brush I'm using. I apologize. It is the Stope, Be Stope that I got um, on Amazon quite a while ago. It came in a nice little variety pack with a bunch of really big brushes, mostly face brushes, but it was like $10, so it was a great deal. If you need brushes and you're looking for some, you know, decent, inexpensive ones, totally check out Amazon. I really like Amazon. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and I think, 
Hmm, I want just something real simple swept up over the whole eye. I think I'm gonna go into this kind of bronzy, brown, kind of um, purpley-ish color and tap into that. My dogs want back in, of course. This is not the same brush that I started with, even though it looks similar. It is from the same uh, brush set, though, that I had bought. In. So it has the same handle and stuff to it. But this is very big and fluffy. And I'm just distributing that color mostly in the corner and outer edges and then sweeping it back and forth over. And just giving our eyes a little bit of depth there. Then I think I'm gonna go in with this really pretty pink shimmer. And I'm gonna just take that on my finger. Ooh, that is like nothing, huh? Maybe we're gonna go into this other color. There's not much there either. Look at how light and pale. Oh my gosh, there's like nothing there. I do think though this one is not so bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into that pink still after all, but wow, considering those are supposed to be like a shimmery-ish shade, there is a lot of powder and dust. So they are not wonderful, that's for sure. But you know, this palette was one of the first palettes I bought myself a couple years ago when I started really doing makeup on myself and taking care of myself in that way because I didn't before, honestly. I, you know, I'd wear makeup once in a while, but it was not important. It was not a necessity. It was not something I was gonna do because I honestly wasn't, you know, you got kids. You just, you're busy with that and being a mom and you know, taking care of yourself health-wise, but as far as beauty and skincare and makeup, no, nope, I did not. And it was only about two years ago now that I really decided that I was ready to start taking better care of me, and that's what I did. I started just, you know, treating myself to a few things here and there, and I really enjoyed it, and just, you know, made me feel really good, and I, I really liked it, so that's what I did. Anyway, so that is all I'm gonna do on my eyes as far as the shadow. I just wanted to add a little pop of something. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into the mascara and put this up. So, so far I am liking the primer and the foundation. I can't wait to get into um, some natural outdoor light and maybe take a little selfie and we can really see how it looks. Um, but here is the mascara. I like the purple. Oh, the wand isn't as defined as I thought it would be by the picture. All right. It's got a little gunky at the end. I'm just gonna wipe that off just so I don't. Oh my gosh, I was trying to put mascara on myself the other day and I don't even know what was going on with me. I was a disaster. It was hilarious. Don't think it grips as well as I would like. So this is like the third coat. think so first impressions of the mascara is that it's definitely not coating enough I mean it's okay and if you like a minimal coverage mascara then this could be it for you I mean it's not bad it, it's not too clumpy which I have had 
horrible issues before. So that's good. Um, I don't like the lash curler for sure. This thing, I like it barely opens. You can't keep that even over your eye without messing up everything. Um, so for the primer, I, I'm okay with. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't break me out. I like that it has an SPF in it. And then we have the foundation. So again, not sure yet how I feel. Um, this is just a very, very basic look. I definitely need to add a little lip, which here we go. Let's add a tiny bit of color on my lips and maybe that will help a little bit. And this is Maybelline. Um, This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid, and it is O2 Great Envy for the color, so there is that. All right, well, there is our final look, and uh, we'll see how it wears today. I will do my best to check in later this evening and see how it is. Um, it is currently just about five minutes till 10. Oh, I'm so sorry, dang me. It's about five minutes till 10 a.m. on Thursday. So I will do my very, very best to check in tonight, um, at least later this evening after all the heat. And so we can really see how did this hold up. And um, I will also do my very best to insert some better pictures of um, close up, maybe when I get outside into some really good natural light so we can really see how this looks because under this lighting, I mean, it looks okay, but it definitely doesn't look like any kind of full coverage makeup at all. So let me know what you think. Please comment down below and tell me what you think so far. And I look forward to checking back in with you later today. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye. So it is about one o'clock and I just wanted to check in and show everybody how my makeup is looking. And this is how it's holding up. So far so good, it's getting warm out. Oh, It's getting warm out and I just got in the car and I'm heading to go get the kids from school. So we will check in again this evening before we take off the makeup for the day. All right, so it is 6 p.m. and I have been wearing the foundation for about eight hours now. And this would be a typical amount of time that you'd wear it for a work day. And so this would be how it would hold up. I think it did okay. Um, it's not my favorite. It's definitely a little cakey and broken up under the eye. I don't know if that's just the um, concealer that I possibly picked with it because this was the first time I've tried it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this foundation again tomorrow, try a little different technique. I will touch bases and record a little more and we will give it a little longer than a one-time wear review before we finalize it. Um, mascara, I had to add another layer even after we filmed because I just didn't feel like it was enough and it is, um, what is the word I'm thinking of? You could see it up close in the mirror. It, it has uh, transferred a little bit under my eye. So it's not horrible. It's not the worst mascara in the world, but it's not my favorite. So we'll give it another shot. We will wear it again tomorrow. We'll film a little bit more and we'll give some final thoughts before we make a real decision on how we like everything. So thank you so much and stay tuned. So today is day two and I am just getting ready to go run a couple more errands. I am wearing the Revlon makeup again today as a second day. Today I did apply it though with my um, makeup sponge. It was the Pure Cosmetics one we got quite a few months ago in a BoxyCharm. And so I think it applied really nice, definitely fuller coverage today. And um, sorry for the shaky, I'm holding the camera in my other hand. Um, I feel like it had fuller coverage today with the sponge and I didn't have to use quite as much product. So let's see how it holds up at the end of the day and we'll give a real review. Thanks. 
All right, so, sorry. So this is the end of makeup day two. I'm gonna give you a close up and I will touch bases tomorrow with the end of my video and my final review. Okay, close up. So I just wanted to finalize my review. Sorry, I'm in another location and it has taken me forever to get back to you guys and tell you my final thoughts on the Revlon foundation, primer, uh, mascara, and curler. So, and no, today I am not wearing any of those products at all on my face. Very minimal makeup today. So I just really wanted to get this up for you guys and finalized. So with that being said, the foundation was nice. I would definitely not call it full coverage in any way, shape or form. It definitely gave a much fuller coverage when I applied it with the beauty sponge um, blender rather than the uh, brush, which I like the paddle brush. A stipple brush might be great. I'm definitely going to have to try it a few different ways, maybe with a different primer and see how I like it. But with that being said, I do like it. It gave me a nice matte sheer coverage. Um, it did not cake or crease too heavily. I did get a little bit under the eye towards the end of the day, but that's pretty typical. I have a lot of creases under my eye anyways. And it could have been the um, concealer I wore the first day versus the second because I did change that up. Um, what else? The primer, not really a lot to say about it. It was fine. It didn't break me out or do anything like that. Irritate me, nothing. I like that it has an SPF. I can't wait to give it a shot also with some other foundations to see how it works out. Um, I didn't love the mascara. It took me a billion coats, it seemed, to even get what I wanted. Um, and then it did flake underneath. I have worn it a couple times off camera since. And it is okay for like an everyday I just need a little color on my eyelashes, a little something. Um, it's great for that. It's inexpensive. It's a good everyday mascara. Would I wear it on a special occasion, a day that I'm gonna have my picture taken? No, I don't think so. And the curler, not my favorite. I have an old, I don't even know what brand curler, and I love it. It works so good. I, I don't know why I thought I wanted to replace it because after trying out the new Revlon one, it's so hard to open and work with. I just really don't like it. So those are my final thoughts. If you have tried any of these four products and feel differently or feel the same, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think. And I look really forward to seeing you all in my next video. I hope that you enjoyed this review of some Revlon products that I did receive free um, for my review, but this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. I received those free products from CrowdTap, and those are part of submissions and campaigns that you do on that. If you're interested in CrowdTap, I will definitely leave some cards about some of my unboxings and other information, as well as the links to sign up below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.